Okay, I was gonna, in my last video, I was gonna tell you in this video about my niece Jordan. She is so beautiful. She's been through so much, that poor girl. And I'm here because my friend, ex-friend, decided that during COVID, I wasn't there at the time. So she got sick and she lost, she couldn't go to work. So when she couldn't go to work, she got fired from her job from COVID, from COVID with COVID. And she couldn't pay her rent. So when she couldn't pay her rent, her landlord decided to foreclose the house. And we, I was giving her money so we can look for a two-bedroom or three-bedroom for the both of us. But at the last moment, moment, she says she took my money and bought herself a camper or a four-wheeler or whatever you call it. And, uh, she move. she, she's gonna move out into that and told me you're on your own. So I was like, oh my god, fuck you, bitch. So I called up my brother or my niece's father. Um, I called him my brother, but he's not. But anyway, I called him up and it's like, can I come stay with you and Jordan? And he was like, yeah, sure. Um, so that's where I'm at now. But anyway, um, I've known Jordan since she was three years old while I was staying with my sister and her um, boyfriend and Jordan at the time. This was uh, like, she's 10 now. She was three then, so many years ago. But anyway, um, Later on, when my niece was like six or something, she decides to, uh, she met, she run into an old friend from high school, I guess. He was living in Florida. She decided to fall in love with him, abandon her daughter with her boyfriend, and move to Florida. And, uh,. Like I said, this man isn't her real father, but he was man enough that he knew that this girl needed a father, so he adopted her, and I commend him for it. He's always been good for to that girl. Um, but uh, when my when my my sister abandoned her daughter and moved down to Florida to be with this man. He was brainwashing her into saying all these awful mean things to me, to the guy who's raising her fa her daughter, and everything. And we just haven't talked. And then in uh, 2019, they were in BFE, and she had went into cardiac arrest. And since the ambulance didn't get to her on time, she was pronounced dead in the ambulance and left her daughter behind. So, I just think um, people who run off like that to be with people, like, say that's, and it's, they say it's love. When they have children, it's just outright, like, messed up, you know? You cannot just go off banning your children for love. It's just crazy. Um, but, um, uh, like I was gonna say, this girl, it has autism. She's been dealt with a lot because her mother abandoned her. Her mother passed away. You know, and people are just, and, she, and she's so sensitive and sweet that, even, that, other kids, like, pick on her for being sensitive, and she, like, yesterday, she said, hey, Ma, can you, can I go play out, she calls me Ma, because I'm the only woman in her life right now, so I was, she asked me to go play with the children outside, I was like, yeah, baby girl, go have fun, but poor thing, five minutes or so later, she comes in, the how the apartment crying saying 
these kids don't want to play with me. I don't have no friends. And I just feel so sorry for her because she's the sweetest little girl ever. And she, she's just been through so much. And uh, I'm glad that her, my sister Bethany has been there for her too. My sister Bethany is the sweetest. So she, they've been taught ever since I gave up Bethany her, on Jordan's number. They've been talking back and forth. And I guess they have a plan together with her father, Doug. My my brother, I call him brother, but he's not. But, yeah. And my plan is uh, sometime soon, I'm going to be making a trip to go visit my boyfriend and his kids and spend some time with him. Uh, but, yeah. It's just, um, uh, just pray for my niece. She's been through a lot. That's all we got to do is just, uh, and, uh, I'm going to try to be the best, um, mother figure to that little girl that she needs and never abandon her because that's her f fear. She's afraid of abandonment because her mama abandoned her and then passed away. So, yeah, that's just what I wanted to share with everyone. You know, special kids, special, you know, special doesn't always mean like, you know, they deserve love too. So I was spe a special needs kid myself, you know, with my, oh, I was going through so much myself with like different things and I'll tell you about it, me in the next video, but this is not about me right now. This is about little Jordan. Uh, she got her name because her father, who, the one who's raising her right now is a very strong, godly, religious man. And he decided to name her Jordan after the Jordan River that Jesus was baptized in. And that's pretty cool. He's always, like, teaching her the ways of the Bible. Like, you shouldn't be listening to that. I want you to listen to Superbook. I want you to pray to Jesus. I want you to know Jesus loves you and you're special, you know. And I commend him for that. Because ever since... I moved in with my niece and her father. Seems like a whole different, like, atmosphere. It's so positive and loving. And it gave me a chance to finally accept Jesus into my life. And ever since, I've just been so blessed and so happy, you know. And I thank him for, you know, pushing Things that, you know, never given up on me either. And teaching her and me about Jesus. Because when I was living with my friend, she practices witchcraft and all this nasty stuff. And it was just so negative and just so dark and just so much that I was, be I was choking and not letting Jesus able to enter into my life. So, yeah, but that's another story, okay? I'll get to that later, but just pray for Nettle Jordan, because uh, she's been through so much, and I love that kid. She's autistic, but she's special to me, and I love her. Thank you for listening. God bless.